Hey everyone, it's Scott from certmedia.com and today I'm going to be showing you how to properly optimize the Jana WordPress theme by Thai Labs. The current score that I have right now is a 100% followed by a 91. If you activated Cloudflare, this would be more like a 95%. And our request count is 27, 542 kilobytes and 1.8 second fully loaded time. This is half from where it began. The page size is down by a good amount, and the request count is down substantially. We also managed to score fairly highly on the PageSpeed Insights mobile test, which uses a 3G synthetic connection. And this is pretty promising for a very large theme. The testing methodology was I installed the theme with all of its recommended or required plugins, and I installed the Jana Tech News theme. So to begin, the first thing that you're going to want to do is install a plugin called U Image Optimizer. You're going to go down to the plugin and you're going to make sure it's configured as follows. It's going to be pixel perfect for JPEG, PNG optimization is premium, GIF is pixel perfect, and then you're just going to hit save. You won't need to modify any of the other options. If this is a brand new website, I do recommend going into the convert settings, but I have a separate uImage optimizer video that goes into this a little bit more detail. Then what you'll do is you'll go to your media and just click bulk optimize. It'll scan for unoptimized images, and then it'll say if there are images to optimize, it'll show a button for you to click, and you'll go through and optimize the images. This will reduce the page weight without reducing image quality and which will in turn increase the mobile performance substantially. Then you're going to need the Cache Enabler plugin. Cache Enabler is a free page caching plugin. If you're on a shared host like this site is, it will reduce your TTFB dramatically. If you notice your server has a high response time, say one second or even 0.5 or 0.8 seconds, installing a page caching plugin such as Cache Enabler will allow you to reduce this number without needing to upgrade to a better server. You're going to need to configure it as follows. The cache expiry needs to be set to 10 hours due to nonces used by the theme. The cache behavior, I recommend enabling to complete the clear the complete cache when a new post is published, as well as enable pre-compression of pages. If you notice the website gets a little distorted or numbers start appearing instead of the website when you enable this option, go ahead and leave it unchecked. And then clear the complete cache if any plugin has been upgraded should be checked. You're not going to enable any other additional options because they're not needed. Next you're going to want to install the auto optimize plugin. And the auto optimize plugin was where the bulk of your configuration and asset optimization will be. I had to play around with a couple of these settings and there's one thing I recommend that you do for your website that will modify it in order to get the best performance possible. By default, Jana does not need jQuery to be defined or loaded in the header for any inline JavaScript. We're not aggregating inline JavaScript either. However, if you're making use of the view counter functionality from the default Thai Labs version, which I will show you in the theme options panel, when you go to your post section, you click post views, and you'll see that by default, it uses the themes module. I recommend that you install Jetpack and use its version and the primary reason for this is if you don't, then post will require jQuery in the header, which will substantially slow down render times for mobile devices, which is kind of a waste considering nothing else on the website needs it. So I highly recommend you switch this to use Jetpack by Automatic. And if you are using Jetpack, you can make use of the under performance, the image load time optimizer, which will serve the images from their CDN, which will further improve your load time. If you are using Jetpack, make sure that these two options are not enabled. This option and this option respectively. 
Now back to auto optimize. In the auto optimize settings, click optimize JavaScript code and aggregate JavaScript files. And then under this section, you'll see an exclusion for jQuery. Remove the exclusion and remove the comma right after tinyMCE. This will aggregate jQuery, which will further improve the load time of your website. The CSS options are gonna need a little bit of everything. You're gonna optimize the CSS code. You're going to aggregate those CSS files. You'll also want to aggregate any inline CSS. If you notice your cache size getting incredibly large, this might be due to a third party plugin such as BuddyPress or BBPress, and you'll want to leave this option unchecked. Then for generate data URIs, make sure this option is enabled. This will inline small background images instead of loading a file, which will reduce request count and can help the load time of the website. For inline and defer CSS, you're going to want to go ahead and enable this option. And to get the critical CSS, you're going to go to this website, which I will include in the description below. You'll need to insert the website URL. And then to get your full CSS, since you're using auto optimize, simply go to the home page, find that auto optimize file. It will be the first one. It'll be the large one. It'll look something long, lengthy, just like this. You'll copy it, you'll paste it right into here, and then you'll click Create Critical Path CSS. It'll go ahead and create that CSS, and then you'll simply paste it into this section. I recommend getting the CSS from the home page, but you can go ahead and try doing it on a post page. You can also use the Auto Optimize API to generate it for different page types and using it with filters and actions to inject that CSS. However, you should really be fine only using it for the home page CSS. It works for me just fine. Make sure that inline all CSS is unchecked. This option should never be checked. For HTML options, make sure the optimize HTML code option is checked. And then just make sure the following options are also checked. If you're using a complex plugin such as BBPress, BuddyPress, or maybe even WooCommerce, you may need to exclude it for logged in users, but this will require your own testing. Finally, the extra section within Auto Optimize, you're going to leave Google Fonts as is. And that's because the, the JANA theme for better or worse, makes use of the web font loader. I would recommend to the developers to stop using the web font loader and instead include the Google fonts in the header using font display swap. This would allow the CSS files to be hosted locally or preloaded or essentially anything other than loading that second JavaScript library, which really isn't necessary anymore. The JavaScript library to include the fonts is oftentimes a lot heavier than just loading the fonts in the header in the first place, so there's not really a good reason to use it anymore. You're also going to want to remove emojis unless for some reason you're using emojis. And then remove query strings from static resources should also be checked. Finally, you're going to want to install a lazy load plugin. I recommend using the Rocket Lazy Load plugin. It's found in the WordPress repository. It's a free lazy load plugin, and you're gonna go ahead and check all three options. This will optimize iframes, images, and video embeds on the website, so that way they're only loaded once they're scrolled to. You'll notice that this significantly helps mobile users the most. And to prove that it's working, the tech news theme has a trending video section by default. And as you can see, it's been replaced with a click button to play, and then you play it, and then the video starts playing. And then as you scroll down the website, the images naturally load in. Any other optimization would be the inclusion of some cleanup plugins. Um, I used my Jetpack Remove Device Pixel JS plugin. This removes the device pixel JS from Jetpack that's not necessarily required. 
I will put a link in the description to other handy plugins that allow you to optimize certain functions of your website. But following this basic guide above allows you to get the 85 and a 71 all the way up to a 100 and a 95 when using a proper CDN. If you have any questions about this, you can feel free to ask me in the comments section below. And thank you very much for watching.